All right, everything looks good. My name is Borino. I used to be a real estate agent. I'm a coach, author, your guide on this crazy journey through the world of real estate to help you. And boy, are we in some interesting time today, huh? Pretty crazy out there right now. Deals canceling, listings canceling, people freaking out left and right. Where is this all going? What's going to happen? First, we thought, oh, it's just a big media bubble just trying to blow up something out of proportion. Doesn't seem that way, does it? So, what does that mean to you? Will we survive this? Will we survive the business? Will there still be people buying and selling homes? Will real estate be the same as we know it? That is the question. That's the question we're going to answer. And more importantly, what can you do to not just survive but thrive? Tough, tough order today, right? To fulfill that. But we're going to do it. I'm here to tell you. See, originally I wanted to come on and I wanted to talk about the expired bootcamp and why you should have an expired package with a brochure like that. But suddenly with all the events, I mean, the schools have canceled, my kids are home, they're not at school, the world is shutting down. Suddenly it felt kind of weird to talk about the expired brochures, although I do have an invitation. We are going forward with the expired bootcamp. We'd love to join you. So if you're interested, go to goborino.com slash bootcamp. Do check it out. We'd love to have you. We are starting next week and I'll explain to you why. But more importantly, what can you do? See, I was in a store yesterday and this is the headline in the recent Globe magazine. Coronavirus destroying the world. We found vaccine to save your life, but it is destroying the world. Woo! We're all gonna die. And if you're watching the news, that pretty much seems to be the message. It is the end of days as we know it. How do you run the business? I mean, some of you are already reporting the consequences, right? You're saying sellers are skittish trying to pull properties off the market. The buyers are changing their mind. Deals are being canceled. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a fortune teller. But I am here to tell you that we've been through crazy stuff before. Like this? Not quite. This feels different. This is odd. But we've been through crisis, real estate crisis, 1988, 89, 1990, 91, huge interest rates. I mean, we had interest rates. Guys, we had interest rates, not uncommon, 12, 13, 14% interest rates, buyers freaking out. We had sellers freaking out because about 40% of my inventory, 40% of the real estate inventory were foreclosures, REOs. People were still moving. Remember September 11th, 9-11th? People were still moving. Remember the 2007, 2008, 2009 crisis? People were still moving. I'm here to tell you that even during the tough times like we're going through today, which is in many ways kind of a test, people will still be moving. There'll be still need, especially now more than ever, for someone like this. And I found this picture that I think is very appropriate. Where there'll be this storm, there's this storm going on where people don't know, shit, should I sell? Should I move? Is this a good time to move? What about if people come to my open house? Should I wipe everything down? What about this? What about that? They are freaking out. And it is exactly during this time you need to be that lighthouse. You need to be that composed source of good information and guidance. Where now more than ever you have to drop the persona of the pushy salesman or a needy low status salesperson. You need to be the strong, confident guide who can help navigate these challenging times. My grandpa, a man I loved and admired, was a very special guy. I have a little clip. This is, this is him. Let me show you. And yeah, this is me. We are hanging out. You're going to see him in the shot. He's an older gentleman in a long coat. We were hanging out. This is near, this is, this is him on the left, the gentleman on the left. His name was Michael. And he was a very wise man and I loved him and respected him very much. A lot of the wisdom I carry and maybe some of the personality, that's him carrying me. I got in some snow trouble, got hit with a snowball and I started crying. And my grandpa Michael taught me, among other things, he said, um, you got to watch out. He said, people start acting stupid when they're in love, when they're drunk, and when they're freaking out, when they panic. And um, you notice that how crazy people are these days? You notice what's going on right now? Virus. We need to stock up on toilet paper. Think about that. 
That's how irrational people are. They think that stacking up toilet paper will solve this problem. It will not. What will solve this problem is common sense, it's wisdom, it's staying calm, it's staying confident. Not everybody can do it. I'm here to tell you, agents will be freaking out. And there'll be two types of reactions you're going to see. There'll be some who will curl up in a ball and mentally give up and say, well, it's the fate. I was not meant to succeed in this business anyway. The world is going to the shit. Well, like this cover. You saw this cover of the Globe magazine? Look at this. The world is ending. And then there'll be a small group of rock stars, small group of people who will emerge, who will reaffirm, I got this. So there was a moment in my business where I'm like, well, holy shit, is this appropriate to teach people how to get listings and how to help them make money and earn commissions with all this going on in the world? Wouldn't it be kind of silly to offer you the boot camp? Come do the boot camp with me. With all this stuff going on, and I'm here to tell you, yes, especially now. Because this can go either way, and I don't have a crystal ball, I really don't know, nobody really knows. One thing can happen, we're going to go on lockdown for a while, which is a perfect opportunity, if nothing else, to sharpen your skills, hone your skills, learn something new, build some systems. Because friends, sooner or later, there will be people out there who will need to move no matter what. Some people will back out, some people will not, some people will freak out and stay put. But it will create another group of people who either really want to jump in or must. It will create a completely new group of prospects and clients who absolutely need and depend on your guidance, on your expertise, on your confidence, and on your competence. Regardless of viruses, regardless of what's going on out there, people will still have to move. How do I know that? Look at the historical data. Look at this graph. Even during the complete meltdown of the real estate market in 2008, we still closed 4.1 million transactions in the US. During the 9-11 crisis in 2001, there were 5 million homes sold. People will always have to move and they will always depend on somebody who can help them through this. Who will not be pushy and arrogant and aggressive and who will not be needy, low status, desperate or freaked out but who, like you, will be able to confidently, competently answer questions and guide them through it. Not as an expert on viral infections or any of that, but as an expert on real estate. Because as an expert on real estate, you will know. You know with confidence that there will always be someone who needs to buy and always someone who needs to sell. People freak out and act stupid when they panic, they're drunk, or <laughs> they're in love. Don't expect people to act rationally. They will not. They will act emotionally. But if you can calm those emotions, if you can understand their fears, and if you can guide them through those fears, you will clean up. Just like I remember, my it was a brilliant idea. Get this. A young immigrant from Czechoslovakia who doesn't know anything about real estate enters real estate in 1989. Crazy, right? What was I thinking? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. But during the crisis, when prices were tanking and interest rates were skyrocketing and everybody was freaking out, there were agents making a boatload of money. Just like there will be agents making a boatload of money this year. Not by gouging and not by being shysters, but being the lighthouse. Being someone who people can depend on, who will calm them, who will guide them. And if the market will melt down, there will be still opportunities. There will still be sellers. There will be still buyers, no matter what happens. There will still be somebody who says, please help me. Get me some information. Get me some advice. I need to know. Maybe there will be great opportunities for investors. Maybe we will go see a bunch of foreclosures. That's possible too. But regardless, there will be still a need, especially now more than ever, for somebody who has a high skill, high competence, who is a good communicator, who knows the market well, who knows how to nav navigate this. And that's what I want to teach you. That's why we decided, I had a powwow and I had to figure out, are we continuing with the boot camp? And many of you already enrolled and it's really great. Because I think this is a perfect time to step away from everybody else doing the same old, same old and say, okay, now more than ever, I need to deliver the A game. I need to stay on top of it. I need to stay sharp. 
this is the opportunity. So I want to teach you. I want to spend five weeks working together. And we will modify, and I will specifically modify the content of this live training. It'll be online. You don't have to travel anywhere. But I will modify it. And I will give you points specifically to address the fears and concerns that your prospects will have right now. But I will also show you that no matter what, there's opportunity all around you. Look at the evidence. Just check your MLS. Were there listings, new listings hitting the market yesterday? Of course they were. Were there pendings? Of course they were. Were there sold properties? Of course they were. In the middle of this, there is still business. There are still people who say, we must do this, no matter what. Now, yes, we need to step up, because some of that market will leave, at least for time being. Those are the ones that are either drunk, in love, or freaked out. But some will step in and say, let's do this. If nothing else, what interest is right now? What, about 3.6, something like that? It makes a perfect opportunity to buy a house. And some people will jump on that. And if the market will indicate that it will slow down and it will really start going down as far as prices, some sellers may say, well, shit, if this slide will continue, I better do it now. Then six months from now or a year from now, when it's going to get really bad, whether it's going to get bad or not, nobody really knows. We've never been through anything like this, at least I don't remember. I've been on this planet for quite some time, as my gray hair confirms, right? So come join us. You have a couple of options. If you go to goboran.com slash bootcamp, you can either join the bootcamp straight up. You're going to get the Expired Plus. You're going to get five live sessions, Q&As. You're going to get my help. We'll send you the book, and I will teach you exactly how to get expires right now. Now, I have some evidence to show you. Let me queue it up real quick. Because you may be wondering, well, are there really any expires? Yes, there will be expires. There are always expires. And expires really saved my butt when I was broke. So let me show you. Watch this. Last 60 days, these are stats I got from my friends in uh, Espresso Agent. There were 5,135 expired listings in Orlando in the last 60 days. That's pretty good. Austin, Texas, 1,803. So there are opportunities, guys. Chicago, 20,585. So there are people out there who need your help. Now, maybe in your market, there may be not that many. Maybe you have less, but there are some. And with the system and the process I'm going to show you, the beautiful thing is you don't need a high volume. This is not about, I need to have 500 leads to convert one, which is like online leads. That's usually what it takes. Maybe not 500, but high number. You don't need a high number here. You talk to two people a day, five days a week, you're going to get leads, you're going to get appointments, you're going to get listings. And I can show you how. So you have two options. Either go straight up for the boot camp, which would be great. Only two easy payments. Normally, this is a $1,997 course. We said, all right, let's make it affordable. So we dropped $1,000. You're going to get a $1,000 discount, break it up to two payments, $499. You're in. You're going to get the package. I'm going to show you even the expired brochure, how you put together an expired package. Where do I have it? Here. So you stand out. You impress the sellers. All of that comes with it. The second option you have is I want you to test drive my training program called The Path. And on the path, you're going to get every single one of my systems one by one, including the Expired Plus. So you will do the boot camp, test drive the path, and that's only $197 a month. Super easy. Now, if you say, I just want to take the boot camp and bail out of the path, no long-term contracts, there's no obligation or anything. I feel that right now, more than ever, there needs to be a source, a lighthouse for you, just like you need to be a lighthouse for your clients. And I feel what better way to do that than get together once a week, where we build these systems, where we work on it. Because what alternative do you have? You already know that the only way you're going to not just survive but thrive in this business is if you deliver a game, where you're really on top of your game, where you're really not 10 times better than your competition, but better than your competition. How you communicate, what kind of expertise you bring to the table, how you stand out. So you've got to be better. Because what else is there? Quit? Go hungry? So for a few bucks, I'm here. I want to help. It's going to be a small group. I purposely make it a small group. So you have access to me and we can interact and you can ask questions. 
So it's an intimate experience rather than 3,000 people. You with me? So jump on it. Go to GoBurner.com, pick one of the options, GoBurner.com slash bootcamp, pick one of the options, we'll send you the book, we're starting this Friday. I'll be happy to teach you, I'll be happy to help you. There is a way, there's always a way, there's always a solution. I don't want you to be one of those stupid people like my grandpa said, drunk, in love, or freaked out. There's no reason to be freaked out. Concerned? Yes, of course. But what are you going to do? Spend four hours a day watching news or spending a couple hours a day learning something helpful, building a new skill, have a system in place. Maybe we can deploy it right away. Maybe we will go and shut down for a while. But sooner or later, it's going to bounce back. It always has. So come join me. Be proactive rather than passively sit on the sidelines, watch CNN and freak out. No benefit. On contrary, I'm telling you, the more news you watch, the higher the stress level you have, the more worry you have. Keep on top of things, educate yourself, but beyond that, be proactive, take charge, because at the end, it really is up to you. And people will more than ever demand somebody with high level of skill, high level of competence, and high, high, high compassion. Because you will have people who will cancel and you will have people who will freak out. You will have people who will completely lose their mind. I saw a post recently here on Rockstars where somebody said, well, do I sue my buyers? They want to back out of the deal. And I totally understand the frustration of the agent. I totally get it. There is cost. There is time involved. There is obligations. But many people, including me, never been through shit like this. We've been through some other shit, not like this. That's where the compassion needs to be one-third. Competence, confidence, and compassion combined. That's what makes you a rock star. No need to freak out. No need to panic. Just watch. Watch that even in the tough waters, in the big storms, a ship can navigate. You can. And you will. And my assumption, and maybe I'm an optimist, I don't know, but I do believe that pretty soon we're going to look back at this go, holy shit, was this something? And we're just going to go back to business as usual. That is my hope. What if I'm completely wrong? I can't control it. And my suggestion would be control what you can. You can control what you read. You can control how much you educate yourself. You can control what you do, how you react. You can control your thoughts and your emotions. You can control the daily habits. You can control what you do every day. You can control how you interact with people. Beyond that, why worry? Why worry? Wash your hands, do the stuff they told us is good to do. There's a pretty good chance that 70% of, of us either already have the bug or will catch it. Most of us have nothing to worry about. Life goes on. We're going to do our best. But that also means, and please hear me on this, let me switch the camera for, for a second. That also means, my friend, you're going to do your best. 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 What is your best? What is your limit and how far are you willing to go when things get tough, as they sometimes do like they do now? That is my message for you today, my friends. So, step one. Remember my grandpa. Remember, Grandpa Mike always said, people act stupid <laughs> when they're drunk, when they're in love, and when they freak out, when they panic. So pay attention, don't panic. And it's very easy to get trapped into that when people start posting, my deals are falling apart, my buyers are backing out, my sellers this, my sellers. Be ready. Sometimes that will happen. And maybe you can counsel them. Maybe you can guide them through it. Maybe you can address some of their fears. Sometimes you will. Sometimes you won't. That's why having more, not being stuck on just one, is so important. I know. I sound like a broken record. Come do the fucking boot camp with me. You're going to have more leads. You're going to have more business. You're going to have more listings. So if one or two fall apart, next. Moving on. And we'll figure out the details. How are we going to handle open houses? How are you going to have face-to-face -face interactions? We'll see. We'll see where we, this is going to go. But business will continue. Life will continue. Yes? Helpful? All right, guys. We'd love to have you in the boot camp.
pick one of the options, come sign up for it. I won't let you down. We'll stay together. We'll work on this. It's going to be okay. Your business is going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You and I will be okay. We've been okay before. We've been through some thick and thin together before. We got this. We got this. We're one of the most resilient people I know. Real estate is not an easy business. So we got this. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for hanging out here. Thank you for your commitment, for your compassion, for your confidence. You got this. We'll do this. We'll do this. If you need my help, just reach out. Yes? All right. With that, friends, stay safe, stay healthy. I will monitor the situation. If there's anything else I can share with you, teach you, help you with, please let me know. Reach out. This is what rock stars are for. I created this group to have a safe place for us to discuss things, to ask for help, ask for support. We are in this together. We're no longer competition. We need to support each other because I'm here to tell you there's plenty and there will be plenty. There will always be plenty of business, plenty of opportunities, plenty of money, plenty of clients, plenty of good times ahead. So don't you give up. Okay. Thanks for watching, you guys. This is your coach, Borino, signing off. I'll talk to you soon. Let's go get him. Bye, everybody. See you in the boot camp.